Yes, and uh, we're off to uh, a men's singles between Lee Chong Wei, seeded number one, world number one, been winning oh, tournament oh, after oh, tournament, oh, up against oh, Hans Christian Wittinghus oh, from Denmark, who is playing yet another quarterfinal. So, looking forward to this match, but it will be an uphill battle for Hans Christian Wittinghus too to see if he can uh, really dent this fantastic player from Malaysia, Lee Chong Wei. And here Lee Chong Wei comes, and Christian Wittinghus to follow. looking very posed, ready for yet another challenge. People are really having a go at him at any given time, but he's so remarkably able to fight them all off and play wonderful badminton. And here we got the top draw of the men's singles. And uh, as you can see on the way, to uh, to this quarterfinal, Li Chong Wei beat Sonny Dwi Gonjuro in the first round, quite easily two two games, and then in the second prize, Levides from France also easily in two games. On the other hand, we had Hans Christian Wittinghus, who played Ponsana in the first game and really had to fight very hard to win 21-17 in that third and deciding game. Second round was a little bit easier, a lot easier against Price Setio from Indonesia, winning 21-16-21-11. And here we have Li Chang Wei, seeded one, world ranking number one. I think I've lost count on how many days and weeks and years that Li Chang Wei has been number one on the world ranking, and how many tournaments he's won is uncountable. There are, though, two tournaments eluding this young man of 31 years of age, born in Penang, and that is the uh, Olympic gold and the world championships. And on numerous occasions, a certain person by the name of Lin, Lin Dan has been standing in his way. So here we have the confirmation of uh, the first two round matches. And uh, Li Chong Wei is uh, soon ready to take on the challenge of Hans Christian Wittinghus, who is seated 11 and is actually having his highest ranking ever. His ranking is presently 11 and it's the best ever he has had. He was born in Denmark in 1986 and is 20 years of age, 28 years of age. And his best results is a quarterfinal in the World Championships in 2011. He won the Spanish Open in 2013 and actually made it to the Super Series Finals. 2012, he made it into that semi-final of that tournament. So it's been a very steady year for him 2014 so far he had uh, quarterfinals in japan open a quarterfinal in india open and a quarterfinal in the all england in march and this time yet again he's having uh, this quarterfinal today in the indonesian open so very steady performance and uh, looking forward to the match always a very hard fighter he's giving everything he's got but uh, let's see whether that is enough against the mighty Lee Chong Wei from Malaysia. The head-to-head -head so far is 2-0 for Lee That's Chong Wei, and the last meeting was in the Malaysian Open uh, this year, 2014. And as you can see, the score was quite convincing, 21-7, 21-13. So see if Hans Christian Wittinghus can uh, improve on the scores from this January. We have the umpire Tata Muliana and Marcel Smith, the service judge from Switzerland, to ensure that this match is carried out in the proper manner.
the next and the one on my right we come away Malaysia and on my left Hans Christian beating us Denmark we come away to shoot lock all stay The opening <coughs> rally, we already see the famous shot of Lee Chong Wei, that cross court smash from the uh, forehand. It's a mighty weapon, and so often we see it coming and uh, very devastating. For Hans Christian, is obviously to hang on as long as possible, stay with Lee Chong Wei as long as possible, and uh, hopefully he can uh, force some, some errors and really stay with the pace because that's going to be the main issue for the beating hoose. Oh, bad luck, just going out. see the mighty pace of uh, Li Chong Wei. Uh, the drop shot play from that round the head position from Li Ting Hus was simply too slow, gave uh, Chong Wei far too much time and he played a very tight net shot, got a short lift and finished it with a smash. Good start for Li Chang Wei, 4 1 up. Dictating the pace from the very beginning. Cross score smash again, and look at that. How easy and how delicate that shot is played. As I mentioned earlier, Chang Wei is uh, born in Penang and. Uh, in the late 1990s, I was the, um, the director of the performance in, <coughs> in BAM in, in, in Malaysia. And I was watching tournaments, uh, juniors playing, who to see, who to pick to go into the academy in Kuala Lumpur. And I spotted it, Li Chong Wei in Penang. And uh, I'm so happy to say that it's good to see him here after so many years and what a career he has had so far and I still think there's plenty to come from this man to go on possibly to win the world championship in in August end of July in Denmark this year and then obviously the big target of all the targets the Olympics in 2016 in Brazil really good shot by Hans Christian Dieting, who's stayed well in this rally, played good proper shots. And played one of his favourite shots, the cross court from the round ahead. Again, that <coughs> very loose drop shot from beating who's from that round ahead position. We got out of it really well.
to get the court. Wiped. Uh, Hans Christian Witting, who is uh, one of the players on the world circuit that really sweats a lot. So he's got to be careful that the court is not getting too slippery. He's lo losing his footing. So very important to get the, the court wiped as soon as possible. See that uh, Wittinghus is uh, staying with his opponents, 6-7 down only, and this is a very positive rally. Good follow-up, good finish. Much better shot from the round ahead position there. Play Lee Jung Wei, you really have to have a solid defense. Seven, okay. And on many occasions, when I've watched Lee Jung Wei play, he's got this extremely good attack, but he's only using it when he's feeling it's, it's most efficient and he's, he, he can penetrate but he's not prepared to work that hard in terms of attacking if he's up against a very good defense and that's why I say it's uh, so important for beating who is to have a very strong defense on today to sort of make sure that he can stay in the game for very long. quick enough to punish that cross-court lift from Chang Wei. Obviously, having played some of the very quick Asian players, he know he would be punished for that, but he was tempting his fate and really tried to, to see whether he could get away with it against Vitting Hoos, but Vitting Hoos was too quick as well. Really good to see. Service over, 9-0. by both the players and once again meeting who needs to get the court wiped as I say he is really a man sweating a lot but he's also working very hard and this rally proves it good backhand defense kept him in the uh, in the rally here and then gave him this opportunity that's well played Disappointed with that and shot, oh. and Scritchen meeting who's he knows it was a poor, poor selection, not the right shot to play, and and he missed it. But it's nice to see him play so well again. He's actually been injured here in spring, in February and March, in April. He's had niggling injuries and having problems with his heel. So it's good to see him back play at uh, this high level again, and having a. A small lead, 11-10 up at the mid-game interval. And I 
haven't heard a little story I think is very interesting at the World Championships in 2011 where everything who's got to the quarterfinal. I know that the Danish selectors were sort of considering dropping him from the team but he made such a good performance in that World Championship that they gave him a chance to keep on playing for the national team and uh, I think he's done them proud. I think he's done very well and has had some two or three very good years and represented Denmark in a, in a very good way. Still yet to reach his first semi-final ever and will it be today? Well left, it's out. Something I, I believe you just have to accept when Lee Chong Wei is leaping up here and playing such a good smash and so well positioned. You just have to accept it and uh, off you go next match, uh, next rally. Don't get too upset. You know he will do it. Yeah, well played. Once again, it was a solid defense sending up the opportunity on that forehand defense coming here. That forehand defense, really good. Poor lift and a good attack. So for Wittinghus, it's all about having a strong enough defense to hold off Li Chong Wei and then see whether he can create the opportunities for counter-attacking. Lee Chong Wei needs to get the court wiped. Good attacking shot there. Forcing the error from Lee Chong Wei. So what a good start to this first game by Hans Christian Witting, who's 15-11 up. This is a very clever tactical move by Lee Chong Wei, really up, attacking that short service, adding on the pressure in the service situation from now on. Way was considering to challenge the core, but chose not to do it. Yeah, good attack. Very good attack. Then very successful with his smashes, beating Hus. John Wei asking for the shuttle to be changed and no arguments, just do it. See, that's what I mean. That's where I say there's, there's, there's pressure on that low serve and Vitting who's decided to reply with a flick serve straight away and I think that was a very clever tactical move by Vitting who's here. It's going wide. 
tonight. Service over. Quarter 18. Change of pace by John Way. Got many options to play this time. Chose to go for that cross court for a slice shot this time. And it has Hans Christian Wittinghus on all fours, throwing himself on the court, but all in vain. Thank you. So Wittinghus really have to watch out now. 18 14 up. Having a very good opportunity. Now it's down to two points. Now it's down to one. 17, 18. Very sharp at the net. Sean Wei forcing meeting who is into the defense. Very good smash across the body here. And suddenly it's all square again. 18 all. was doing all the right things. What a follow-up, but what a way to defend that from Lee Chong Wei. Got it back. All respect for that shot. Look at how he's covering that full court cross on that diagonal. Fantastic. And that's called in. So suddenly it's six points in a row and turn an 18-14 down to a 2018 up. And it's the first game point. That's good play. Clipping the tape and made it impossible for a beating who is to lift it. Really well played. What a good rally it was. Well played by Lee Chang Wei. And if you look very closely and carefully, you can see that Hans Christian Wittinghus was saying the same after that last rally in the first game here. So well played. Bad luck for Wittinghus. 18-14 up. But lost 21-18 as Lee Jung Wei took seven points in a row. And here we got the confirmation, 21-18. Now look how lightly he is moving on the court. Jung Wei, so light-footed, so easy, so fast and so quick. Lots of explosions, leaping in the air. Absolute delight to watch.
But what I like a lot about Lee Chong Wei, apart from all his badminton and skills, the qualities that we see on court, is the fact that he's a great supporter of the international badminton circuit. And I think that's a huge credit to his name. He's playing virtually all the, all the tournaments around the world. And if you see, just this year, he's played on top of the Thomas Cup, where he took the Malaysian team to the, uh, to the final. He's played in another six tournaments this year, and he's actually won four of them. The other, uh, the other two, he lost in the final, so he's been in six finals in a row. Huge credit to his name, I think, that he's supporting the circuit as well as he does. Second game, club all play. really back in position and he saw it and straight away that diagonal cross lift so now Max Christian really have to watch out Judgment. So it was a proud moment in January this year when Lee Jong Wei, the man in the picture, won his tenth Malaysian Open title. It's a remarkable achievement, winning ten. Malaysian Opens in a row. And I was there to witness it and how well he played. It was a delight again to watch it. Such a good player and such an ambassador for the game and for his country. seen him practicing that on a few occasions when I've been to Malaysia watching his training and he's doing it so well look at that small small little action and how quickly he play that shot and that's the cross court smash again straight on the line Seven, two. I think for every single player it's all about finding ways where you can really dent and damage your opponent and if there is one corner for Lee Chong Wei it's definitely that forehand corner he is deadly to play over there he's got so many options 
On top of that, obviously, his net game is on top. Defence is good. If any weaknesses, we, I think we have to talk a little bit about on his around-the-head situation there, where we sometimes see that he's hesitating a bit. Way has got the option of challenging it if he wants. I don't think he's decided to do that. He's got the option. He was looking at the umpire, maybe for him asking him to overrule it. But that's not necessary these days. You could just have asked the Hawkeye to do it. You've got two challenges or two unsuccessful challenges per match. And I think that was a very, very close call. Service over for Again, the attack is starting from that forehand corner. This time chose to go straight and then the follow-up. And so many, you can see, would tend to go cross-court and that kill from the net, but he chose to go straight down the line due to the fact that he's so quick. And that's the round ahead situation where we saw here playing quite a loose shot, where he's not so strong. Again, the round ahead, he's got to work very hard when he's opting for that cross-court smash. I think if anyone is playing Lee Chong Wei, this is the possible place where you have to exploit a little bit. So if you could talk about any weaknesses, this is possibly the area. But you know, we are talking about a player who has won virtually every single tournament about three, four, five, six times, except for, obviously, the Olympics and the World Championships. I have, though, great faith in him and think that he will manage to win it in 2014 in Copenhagen for the World Championships and obviously in Rio in 2016. Again, powerful smash, reversed angle. Look at the action if you can follow it. Ah, it's difficult, but it's a reverse smash and it's plumb on the line. Really well played. And Lee Jong Wei looks to be very comfortably on his way to a win here, having won the first game 21 16, sorry, 21 18. And now 11 6 on in the second game. Top one, one second. Top one, 20 second. Thank you. a little bit of the same medicine that Chan Wei gave Bittinghus earlier. Cross-court attack by 
Chong Wei was easily detected by Viting, who's playing it straight down the line, got the lift, and then obviously the finishing smash down the line. You give him time, he can almost place it anywhere he likes. And I'm sure that's what Viting was thinking about as well. Here, that lift is just too slow. And Zhang Wei has got all the options in the book. Twelve seven. here good disguise clear and watch out yes yeah everything who's doesn't know really what to do can't find the answers Against the well playing Lee Chong Wei. Very quick cross now. The pressure is enormous. Lee Chong Wei is playing so quickly. Vitting who's find it. Very hard to follow pace. He's virtually on the floor at every single rally he's playing and need to get the, the floor mop. But he's so forced in his situations. He's got to throw himself around on the court to try to retrieve the shots. Yeah, that's the man under pressure. Like Chong Wei is taking his points as and when he pleases. Yeah, beautiful shot. Good shot. Mentioned it earlier, his favorite cross court shot from the round ahead situation. Once again, proved to be a point. Desperate action by Vitting Hoos. Played a good drop shot, but the lift played by Li Chong Wei was so good. Really good length, hard to attack. Out. Left. Service over. Nine seventeen. Ten. Once again, successful with that flick serve. First time it was an outright winner. This time he forced a, an error. So definitely not a bad idea. Now and again, 
doing these flick services. points away from victory. Li Chang Wei, 18-10. Good luck. There he's waiting for any weak shot, just the slightest of weaknesses, and then he's punishing his opponent like that. Beautiful shot. And match point has arrived. Ten. Match points for Lee Chong Wei, Malaysia against Hans Christian Wittinghus of Denmark. Yeah, good smash. Chong Wei got punished for his laziness on that backhand shot. He obviously had the option of going around it, play forehand. But chose the backhand and got punished. Yeah. And here, a happy man, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia. Wonderful badminton to watch. And Hans Christian Witting, who's really fought the best he could. But all in vain against a really well playing Lee Jong Wei. Here we got the match point. And Lee Jong Wei now, as you can see, throwing out souvenirs to the crowd. They're going mad. And here we got the confirmation of the scores. 21-18, 21-11, and just 40 minutes, and we will have the highlights coming up very shortly. Here we have them. Very good smash down the line. And I think it's a great credit to, to Lee Chong Wei that he's actually appointed Malaysian UNICEF Ambassador in 2009, I think that's showing a very great humanitarian thinking as well, and I love that. And uh, you know, while we're watching this wonderful badminton player in action, I think it's all credit to him and his coach, Mr. Bock. And as yes, you can see, it's uh, Hans Christian Wittig, who is in despair doesn't know where to play, what to do. He's under pressure, whatever he's choosing. And here we've got the match point. A little bit too late. Once again, a perfect variation of attack. And here we have the schedule of today. And we have got now, I played the first five matches. And the first three going all into the third and final game, but suddenly we had two quick ones, the mixed doubles where Mr. and Mrs. Adcock was playing Natsia and Ahmed, and that was only in two sets. And here, Lee Chong Wei against Hans Christian Witting, who's also two games, 21-18, 21-11. We've got another three singles coming up for you this afternoon slash evening. And the next one is a women's singles, followed on by men's singles, and we're finishing up with the women's singles, with a repeat of two of the final from two years ago, with Lisha Ray and Sina Naval of India 
having to play and close today's matches. So the four are six match of the day, an opportunity for us to look at the destination Dubai women's singles ranking and after victory in Tokyo last week, Lee Shuere goes up from three to number one. Three Chinese players, as you can see, top of the list, a couple of Koreans in there as well, two Thailand players. Yin going up three places from nine to six, and our Rakchanok Internal going down one.